I'll tell you what, it's been years and years since I fished this lake. And uh, it's the most wonderful way to start a new season is to go after brook trout. Now seasons come early this year. And so uh, I'm experimenting with different flies. Right now I've got a fly on that's always a safe bet. This is a nice brook trout, by the way. You can really, <laughs> it really uh, puts a lot of pressure against this uh, six weight rod. But I'll tell you something. Uh, I've always had great luck with a white woolly bugger, and that's what this fish hit. And boy, when they strike, it is the most wonderful feeling. Let's see if I can get him in. I've been kind of, the boat's moving, so it's kind of pulled him along in the current. And I'll see if I can get him now to show you. Uh, well, I'm going to use the net just because I want you all to see this fish. There we go. See if I can get him out of this net here and hold him by the fly. That way I won't be holding the fish. Look at the size of that fish. That's about an 18 inch brook trout. If I grab him, well, you can see how easily that fly came out. There's some people that can hold brookies and do a wonderful job without getting them to splash around in their hands. I've never been one of those people. But this can give you an idea just how beautiful this fish is. That's about an 18 inch brook trout. This is the kind of fishing you have here in these lakes at Beauchene. And it's unlike what you can get most any place I've ever seen. It's just wonderful, wonderful. There he goes, let him swim away. Well, we'll see if we can catch another one so that you can share this experience with us. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I have a little white woolly bugger that, uh, was tied for me. This isn't one that I bought at a store, although, you know, it's the same thing, obviously. But it always means more when somebody ties something and gives it to you as a gift and likes to see you catch fish on it. Uh, it's got a beaded head and probably about a size six hook by the look of it. And this has a sink tip, not a sinking line, but just the tip of the line sink. And so this is the way anybody, anybody can fish the way I'm fishing. You let your line out a bit and then start your trolling motor or if you're paddling, start paddling and then just start working your way out and let the line out a little bit. This allows you to cover a lot of, a lot of uh, water uh, and it's still an awful lot of fun. It's not the same as casting, but it's something all of you can do and you can get the thrill out of catching fish on a fly and feeling the battle, the strike, everything that comes with fly fishing. So let's see if I'll get, I'm kind of getting in weeds here, so I got to get us out of here and we'll see if we can catch another fish. Well, I'll tell you what. This, if we could get a strike doing this, what I've done, I see I've got a sink line on, but as we came by here trolling, didn't get a strike, heard a splash, looked back and the fish just uh, jumped right back here by this deadfall. Where, whenever you have deadfalls like this, it's always pretty good. It's always a good bet that there could be fish hanging around deadfalls. It's cover. It's some place for them to hide in, and then they can scoot out when they want. Now that fish that jumped, he's obviously jumping for a fly on the surface, so my big... Ooh, there he is. He's on. He's a big one. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh my goodness, just, he, you talk about acting on cue. This was incredible. I approached that deadfall, I cast right to the edge of it, and as I brought, and I've got a little Royal Coachman fly on, uh, a really universal pattern. That's a nice fish. It's a beautiful fish. When he hit, I thought, oh gosh, I've hooked that deadfall. But then I felt it wiggling. What, I gotta be careful here. Ooh, this is a really, Nice, nice trout. Oh, wow. What a thrill this is too, to hook these brookies like this. This, this. this fish has got a lot of color to it too. I'm gonna net him so we can be sure to see him here. So you can see the colors I'm talking about and everything else. I'm gonna try to net him. And there he is. Oh, this is, this is exciting. This is really fun fishing. I've shown you two different ways that you can do this. We've only been out here an hour, and already I've caught one trolling, 
and one casting. But to catch them casting, to me, is the most fun of all. There we go. Yeah, the other thing here at Beauchene, uh barbless hooks are called for, so that just protects these fish. Isn't, ah, isn't that a beautiful trout? That's the result you get if you, if you pay attention to what's going on. We wouldn't have fished here if hadn't heard that fish jump. Maybe it's the same fish, maybe it isn't. But we'll put him back where he belongs. That's probably 16, 17, maybe more. Maybe more. May, oh, that's a good 18 inches or more. Thin. Oh, there. <laughs> Their teeth are sharp, too. And let me just show you the fly. This is the Royal Coachman. This is what I was using. It's a great fly. Earlier, I was using a white woolly bugger. I guess it fell off my hand. Uh, but red, white, and some black on it. Traditionally, it's a great fly. So let me get out of this deadfall. Now I'm in, in the fish's home. So let me get this out of the way and see if I can start the motor and get myself out of here. This is the kind of fishing you can have at Beauchene. You can have this wilderness solitude, the lake all to ourselves. And the other thing, the other thing that really makes those fish special here in Taggart is that they're wild, wild brookies. You don't find that many places. Most, most of the brook trout fishing in Quebec right now is put and take stock fishing until you go way, way, way north. But Beauchene is special for so many ways, and the wild brook trout fishing is just one of them.